Well, welcome back, y'all. The wind is still absolutely howling on us out here, but we got tarpon moving in from our straight. They're moving in from the right, I'm kind of moving in from all around. So, got eagle eyes on the back back there. Captain Hansen Lau, he can spot them. He's seeing them like 20 feet before I'm seeing them. So, they're coming in real close. That one that I just hooked was absolutely right below the boat right here. I could have poked him with my rod. It's amazing when you can see everything just light up in front of your eyes right under the boat, isn't it, huh? Yeah, and as that sun comes up, you get a good pair of Costa Del Mar sunglasses, it's like somebody just slowly starts turning up a dimmer switch on the flat out here because it's just, y'all see that out there, it's beautiful down here. Hanson, tell me, are we gonna, we're looking for them up on top of the waters? They're coming to us, they're down, they riding low, or you know, they move all sorts of ways, so how are they gonna come to us? It seems like the bigger single fish will swim a little deeper, and the bigger pods of migrating fish will swim a little higher in the water column. Those are the ones that are easier to see and the ones that will eat better. Blair, I think you got some fish coming at. <laughs> you got some fish coming. You got a big group of fish coming. Coming at, right at you. See them? They're, they're, they're coming right at you. Strip it, strip it, strip it, strip it, strip, 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 strip. I think one might be on it. Keep stripping. Let's feed that second fish. That second fish is coming up. All right. It's looking at your fly. Nope, feed the back fish. Good shot, strip it. Strip, strip, strip. Nope, wasn't happy. He's coming. Fish hit, on, hit, baby! Hit, hit him! <clears throat> clear the line, baby. Clear it, clear it, clear it, clear it, clear it. You're on the reel, baby. On the reel. That's the way to hook him, right by the boat, huh? <laughs> Looks like a good little fish too. Yep. Come on, baby. Been out here all morning waiting for these guys to come by and eat. All right, I'm gonna let the push pole go. I'm gonna crank up and chase him. Go. He is on the reel, baby. Did you not see him coming up behind it? I didn't see that one. I was looking <laughs> at the one in front of that one. <laughs> I saw that one react to it. Is it mirror? Did he make a 180 to eat that fly? Yeah. No, he came right at He was coming right at it. Oh, okay. It was tickling his nose the whole time. Oh, man. <laughs> you had your eye on that other fish. Luckily, this was the smaller of the two. Yeah, the other one was bigger. That's why I was looking at that one. And there's a crab trap way out there. Don't worry. We'll be all right. As long as you don't put a lot of pressure, we'll be okay. He's nowhere near that crab trap. How much backing you got on this Nautilus? Over 300 yards. Okay. You're good. I think we're good here. I mean, now that he's done with that first initial run. Uh-oh, now I say that. No, he ain't done. This could take a while, folks. <laughs> I don't mind as long as I got one on now on a windy day like this. <laughs> Y'all can't tell, the wind's blowing probably 20, at least 20 miles an hour, and it's a steady wind. And uh, we've been sitting on the bank all morning long, and what happens is when the tide changes, the tarpon start falling out, and they come up and they eat little green flies when they put them in their head. Little green cookie. Little green cookie. You gotta love it when they jump. Almost get your fly line in the guides. Seeing fly line? Seeing fly line. Ooh. Feeling fly line? I'm hearing fly line. Mm. Uh oh, crab trap in front of us. Those will cause you trouble. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good fish there, bro. Oh yeah, not a huge fish, one of these little males, but you know what, it's my favorite size fish right there. Yeah, when they get too big, man, they just are way too much work. Oh yeah. You know, it always amazes me that you get these little teeny tiny flies like this and you get these great big fish eating them. Then again, I guess, elephants. like my buddy from Louisiana says, heavy, elephants eat peanuts, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great concept to go by. Tarpoonie, baby. You gotta love them. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's May right now and it, it's absolute peak tarpon time, wouldn't you say? I'd say so. <laughs> well, we've only... What we've seen the last uh, few last, hours. Yeah, last couple hours we've seen them just parading by the boat. And you just gotta keep throwing at them and throwing at them and throwing at them until you finally find that one that's hungry that eats. <sighs> Slowly but surely. This one doesn't want to play nice. 
I guess my new flats blue fly rod did this one pretty good, huh? I would say so. Tell you, for a 10 weight, this one sure feels like a 12 weight to me. Definitely. But it casts a like a good bunch. 10 weight. It's when they're ready, they're ready. And when they're ready, a lot of times they just come up and lay on the side of the boat here. Got him that time? No. Is he done? Is he done? Hanson's wrestling. It's a wrestling match. Oh, he ain't going nowhere now. <laughs> Good job, Hanson Lau. Here, let's see if I can get that fly out of there. Right down the corner of the mouth. Perfect. Perfect hook. Uh, guys, these tarpon are so unique to this area. And I tell you what, they there's so many different ways you can catch them here. You got them on the flats like we're doing right now. You got them around the bridges. You can live bait them. And uh, Hanson loves doing the fly rod. And for you fly rodders out there that have been begging for a fly show, here you go. The king of the flats right here, baby. You know, one thing I absolutely love about tarpon Hanson is just they, their head looks like it's chiseled out of a block of ice. That is so beautiful. One, most like be this. one of the most beautiful fish in the world. That's why they call them the glamour fish. Let's get some water through his gills and go, go get on our steak. You're not going to take too long with this oxygen in the water. Yeah, these fish usually revive pretty good here in the ocean. Woo. Well, off he goes there, brother. Nice. That was pretty awesome. Hey, Y'all get the chance to do this. We're in Almorada, right off of Almorada, here, sitting here right on the flats, catching these big tarpon. Captain Hanson Lau, y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with some more addictive fishing and hopefully a few more Megalops Atlanticus, otherwise known as the tarpon. Be right back. Let's go then. Hit, 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 fish, hit him, big fish. Great, great shot, baby. great shot. Well, welcome back, y'all. As you can tell, the wind, it was just blowing all kinds of craziness offshore. So what we've done, we moved back in the back country and it's a little bit quieter in here, so we're gonna see what happens. Hanson said these fish just like to move up this bank with the tide flowing, and uh, they should eat pretty good, huh? Typically bigger fish in here, fish to eat better. Mogans. Mogans. Blair, I think I got one coming. Kind of looks like a shark, here? though. So point your rod, left, left. Okay, left, I got right it, Right around I got that it. point, yeah, there he is. It's got that tail swagger, it's coming side to side. It's got an awful black back, though. What do they say, when in doubt? When in doubt, whip it out. Whip it out. See what happens. He hit it, he hit it, he hit it. Fish! Hit him! Big yeah. fish! Great Thanks, shot, Larry. Great shot! Come on, baby. That's a big one, brother. <laughs> Chase him out with the trolling motor here. Was that awesome or what? I think that's an or what. Oh, push down. There you go. Well, sir, I think we got us a Mogan. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? It's a big fish. I thought it was a shark. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a great setup, man. Dude, I saw his Jeez, mouth open. I was like, oh my God, he ate it. <laughs> did you really want to hook this one? Look at his back. I think I did. He's only about a foot and a half across, isn't he? I'm going to get on the motor. You just want to see me get into this green line here, don't you? That's basically it. I don't think that reel's ever seen that green line. It's fixing to. Oh, Ooh. They're gonna get in the green soon. There's the green. There's the green. You know, they got 75 yards left now? No, you got a hundred, you got 200 yards left. He's running toward the other boat, is he? He's going to the right a little. There, that's a really big fish. It's a monster, brother. I think you got about 200 yards when you're in that green. Yeah. I'm gonna take it out of gear. I'm gonna use a trolling motor again because we're kind of close to this other boat. Well, we don't try to throw at it. <laughs> I think he's throwing at it, dude. He's throwing at our fish? Yeah. Are you kidding me? 
Just hope you don't catch my line. Well, I didn't see the green line on the last fish, but I'm seeing the green line on this fish. This one's over 100 easy. Easy. Easy, easy. over 100. Easy, big fish. Matter of fact, I think uh, we're gonna take a break right now, pay some uh, tributes to our sponsors out there. We'll be right back with some more addictive fishing and we'll show you this beast. Let's go then. Oh, what a fish. It's amazing how big they get when you see them raise their head out of the water like that. Almorado, what can I say? And with the buggy whip, there's no better way to catch a tarpon than throwing with a fly rod. And the new Wright McGill Flats Blue Fly Rods, they're coming out soon, so y'all check them out when they hit the stores. I absolutely love them. We're using about seven feet of Seaguar fluorocarbon line, and what the Seaguar does, it's got a great whipping action that'll actually lay the fly out right in front of you. And it just lays it out perfect, doesn't really make it splash and hit and spook the fish and uh, it was definitely getting the job done today. And fins, they make a great line. This is the XS. You've seen me use it out Cobia fishing. You've seen me use it on all my spinning gear, but what it works well on also is fly reels. It's real tight in diameter and it holds a lot of it. You don't have to spend a bunch of money on a Dacron or any, you know, that real expensive fly line. All you need is a little bit of XS to put on there. You got plenty of backing. And the fly I was throwing, Hansen ties up these little flies like this. He calls it a, a little green cookie. And uh, those big giant tarpon were loving this little green cookie. Fins also makes a great line out there called hollow core that you can actually use for backing as well. Works great for sword fishing. Any of you guys out there that are big offshore fishermen, you know what hollow core is? Hey, Fins makes it, so it's gotta be the best. Give it a try. It's really good stuff. There's your bait check for today. Hope you enjoy the rest of the show and the big tug of war coming up. Remember one thing though, every fishing season starts right here at Dick's. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel. Submit to the Mogan Man. You got white yet? Not yet. Well, welcome back. We're chasing down our Mogan Poon on the end of the line still. We about got our white line back, but uh, the flats blue fly rod is kicking some tail today. Get that white line in the guides. That means he's about 75 yards away. Ate the little green cookie. It's kind of what my friends call it. Just a green toad, but. All right, we're getting close. Oh yeah, that's a grown one there, brother. That is a grown one. Come on, baby. We just got 40 pound leader too, don't we? Uh, he's got 40 pound cigar on there. All right, cool. Whoa, baby, come on. God, it's so close to where you can get them busted off on you right there because they're still real green. You're real close to them like this and you want to put so much pressure on them, but you just can't. You put a little side pressure on them, you get a little bow in the line like that and it gives you extra drag where you don't have to really grab the, your fly line here to give yourself extra drag. With that big bow in the line, it actually will tire them out a little bit better. That's where a lot of people will make mistake and come a little tighter on their drag and it actually doubles their drag, what they're getting, and ended up popping the leader off. Woo, that's a hundred pound easy, buddy. He ain't nowhere He's near He's played this game yet. before. What's that? He's played this game before. He's just conserving his energy. Now, if y'all ever get a chance to come down here and do this, you can bring your own boat down here and learn how to do this. But if you come with a fishing guide, somebody like Hansen here that's been doing this for years and years and years, they know the exact spots to get, and they can teach you how to do this right. And there's certain etiquette up and down the flats here that you really gotta follow because this area here we're fishing, it's, it's known for a fly rod area and you don't want people fishing bait in here because it just makes it tough for fly rodders. So that's why we're in here casting a fly rod today. This fish about run us all over this little basin here, huh? If y'all see this fly line where that green line is now, I was down into that green line, that's what, 200 yards out? That's 200 yards out. This fish made a dash for glory. <laughs> he was trying to get back to channel five. <laughs> where he came from. Oh, what a fish. It's amazing how big they get when you see them raise their head out of the water like that. This fish has a lot of girth from top to bottom. Not a lot of length, but it's a short, fat one. You know, they make these in a uh, 12 weight as well. Really? I, don't know, I don't know why I just brought the 10. I'll tell you, this, guy, power. this guy here, I'd use a. I'd like to have a 12 weight on it. <laughs> yeah, 12 would definitely be a lot. Uh, 
a lot less conducive to your health. Yeah. <laughs> well, we make them uh, 8, 9, 10, and 12 weight. Very nice. Yeah, these are real powerful rods, man. Every time they come up and gulp like that, it's like them taking a shot of a sports drink or a five-hour energy or something. That is a huge tail. That tarpon's tail is not proportionate to its body. It isn't. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's what you like to see them do at the end of a fight, right? Oh, yeah. You got to be real careful, though, when you're at this point on a fight because your leader's getting aged. He's got a uh, tarpon has like a sandpaper mouth can really fray that leader up. And you really can't put the 40 pound test or 40 pounds of pressure on it. You could if it wasn't chafed up. So you got to be real careful. This is where a lot of them get off because you're able to see them. They're right next to the boat and you think you can just do that one little extra tug on them to get them to the boat. Oh, there's a good head shake. Oh, there you oh. went right there. Well, they say an hour, hour and a half. Oh man, if that ain't a heartbreaker, dude. Brother, that was awesome. You did all you could. You got the best out of that fish. That was awesome. Let's see where this thing broke. We had to switch to 40 pound test leader. We were throwing at these fish earlier and they were spooking. So we had to switch down. We had 60 on there. Switch down to 40 and let's see what happened. I bet he just wore through it. I tail whacked it tail whacked it well couldn't couldn't do nothing about that hey, if y'all ever want to do this make sure you give Hans and Lau a call because he knows where the fish are at down here he's been down here five years five years guiding what's your website years fishing purpleislefishing.com purpleislefishing.com Hans and Lau he's out of Miami and I tell you what he knows Almorada like the back of his hand y'all give him a shout if you can and come do this because it'll it leaves you speechless for words. It's a fish of a lifetime. Y'all come do it. Don't forget about the website, addictofishing.com. Hanson Lau, look him up. Come catch a poon out of Alvarado in May. See y'all next week. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to addictofishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Clear the line, baby. It's flaring today, boy. Ah, my bad. Sorry. Oh, jeez. Don't fall. Tell us a nurse shark has got that uh, nurse's uniform on. Oh. <laughs>